Hey guys, it's Walt from Dirtfoot Racing here. We're gonna have an unboxing and uh, bet you'll never guess what's in here. You might guess what's in there, but most people won't. What's that say right there? Uh, engine gas, that's a hint. All right, so we're gonna take this cover off and yeah, cut the, do the honors. My assistant, you know, Joe there, cut the wires. This thing has been strapped up since who knows when since the government strapped it up, probably back during Reagan's time, when we were uh, in a uh, arms build up against the Ruskies. And we uh, basically built them up, arm, uh, uh, built built weapons until we, we broke the Russians. So, now, ooh, ooh, leave that alone. Leave that alone. You're gonna hurt yourself. Here, take was, that, unscrew the sides. Yeah, so, uh, for are you loosening or are you tightening? Um, back, during, back during the 80s, for you younglings that don't know this stuff and don't read it, don't read anymore, um, you know, there was uh, the Russians, the Soviets, and there was a Cold War, and we had President Reagan, and President Reagan decided he was going to, he was going to get them commies. So what he did was, which was kind of smart, he started an arms race with them, Basically, we outspent them and we broke them. Uh, they ran out of money. Um, and then the wall came down and the commies left, lost all their satellite countries and all their uh, free stuff they were stealing from in those other countries. Sugar cane and oil and stuff, different things. But anyways, but in the, in the meantime, uh, in that arms race, uh, we built thousands of uh, generators and generator engines and and stuff for that kind of thing and shortly after that um, in the early 90s the u.s military shifted to complete everything was diesel powered and what's inside this box is a gasoline engine uh probably could have used on a generator could be used on a water pump uh, different things and all these engines eventually were put in storage and eventually they were all surplus off so um, so these are very uh, complex little engines there's one on the floor over here too this is, this is a two-cylinder version but um made by companies like wisconsin and continental and chrysler place like that made these engines and now uh, they're basically still being surplus off they still show up on the surplus market. Um, but we're not gonna use it to power a generator. We're gonna power something else with it. Maybe uh, some kind of go-kart or something like that. It's gonna come off. Uh, maybe I need to help. Let's see here. We got a hand here. Oh, there it goes. I barely got a hold of this, Joe. Oh, look at that. That is a pretty little engine. Look at that little guy. So. What we got here is a four-cylinder, military standard engine. What we got there, uh, 32 cubic inch. What's the manufacture date on that? 1990, wow, 12 of 90, December of 90, by Teledyne. So, this, like I said, is four cylinders, air-cooled, uh, electronic ignition, the later ones. Oh, look at that bag, Joe, you know what's in there? I bet you know what's in there, don't you? Fuel filter. A fuel filter and a, and a pull rope, starter rope. We got manuals. Look at that. We got paperwork. Oh, look at that. That's from those days when people used to read. Um, That's very detailed. Yeah, very detailed. So, good stuff. So, yeah, this thing's been sealed up since, you know, 1990, which is cool. Um, got a tag telling you how to get it going again. Got a uh, pull starter. Um, electronic condition, like I said. It's got a standard type mounting arrangement here to go on different types of things. Um, this actually is uh, electric start. Nope. It has a ring gear on it for electric start. The electric starter is not there. Um, so yeah, some people buy these nowadays and make little airboats out of them. Uh, they, they modify them. They put bigger carburetors on because it's got a dinky little carburetor. It is only supposed to be. How many horsepower? Not much. Very low horsepower. What is rated at? 
So, um, let's open this up. Oh, I'll open it up in a minute. And that's partially because of the small carburetor, the low horsepower. And they're governed, so they don't. But they're just, these engines are designed to run basically 24 7. So, you imagine you're running a generator in a, at, a, at your base camp or whatever. They might run for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten days, whatever, eleven days, twelve days. Um, so yeah, that's what they're designed to do. And uh, very, uh, very, um, very uh, complex for what you would think a generator would be nowadays. Um, this the Kark is Kark paint. That's the type of paint that's on it, and it says twelve and ninety. So. That's the date that it was painted with the Kark paint, and it was manufactured in 12 and 90, so very interesting, very cool. So yeah, we're gonna build something with this eventually, put it on a go-kart, put it on some type of some type of machine. Oh, six horsepower, excuse me, pull this off. So here's a, this was stapled to the bottom of it, de-preservation de guide for vehicles and equipment. So this is basically when you bring something back into use that was uh, had been stored away. That's the instructions on how to do it. Cool. So, all right, guys. Well, I just wanted to show this to you and um, stay tuned. We'll be doing something else. Nothing else. I'm going to fire it up and run it, and so you can hear it run because um, they're super smooth little engines. So, Walter, if it racing, like, share, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.